Hey guys, today's Twincho Solar for. Today I'm going to low test my solar battery bank here and see how they're doing. I got my low test meter right here. It's roughly uh, 100 amps, I believe. Um, it's early in the morning, so I have not put a charge on my battery since last night. So the battery's been sitting all night and I hadn't used them at all. Um, I do have my panels out up there. But they are disconnected from my uh, battery bank. I have the switches turned off. All three of them turned off in the house. So, <laughs> there's no power coming into the batteries here to recharge them. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started with the load test and see how they do. Now, uh, when load testing, you want to start from the furthest negative p terminal, which is right here, to the furthest positive terminal, which is right here on this battery. So, they're actually side by side, but... Um, you got to go with the batteries like the, the ground starts here circuit then it goes to the second battery right here then to the third battery green interstate right here uh, power starts at this battery then goes to this black battery in the back then right here to the green battery green interstate so uh, just keep that in mind you don't want to uh, like test right here and right here on the same battery or right here and right here of just two batteries because then it wouldn't be accurate you won't be uh, including the green interstate battery here so make sure you do um, the furthest uh, negative terminal and the starting uh, positive terminal so uh, I'm going to clip on my ground lead of my tester here low tester let's see if you get in camera here hopefully you can Try to clear it up, it might be a little bright. Come on, camera focus. There we go. You guys can see, I believe you can see it. It's right over 12 volts and it's in the green, which is good. And the red the part right here that says low, that's for your charging system. Um, you know, if you had this hooked up to a car, but this is a solar power system, so. Uh, it'll probably work the same if you had the panels connected to it, but I don't, so it's not going to, uh, you know, go any higher than the low right there, the beginning of the low. So, just go in and apply the load to it, which is right here, the load switch. You hold it down for about 10 seconds, or you can do as much as 15. So, we're going to go for, uh, uh, I don't know, we'll go for 12. Okay, so that was roughly 12 seconds, and as you guys see, it dropped right there at the bottom of the good section. See, here we go, that's a little better. Right there at the bottom of the good section, right there, it was about to enter the week. So these batteries are good, uh, right here, and uh, it didn't drop no lower than 10.5 volts right up here. So that was good, that was really good. Um, we'll do it again, so we'll do it a little shorter, we'll do, go for... 10 seconds this time. That was roughly 10 seconds. And uh, that dropped down to the same 10.5. So it done really good. Then it bounced right back up to 12.5, uh, 12.6 volts. So these batteries are good. Um, ideally you would not want it to go under 9.5 for a car because um, uh, that means you got a pretty weak battery and you need to get it replaced uh, but uh, for solar you could probably do 9.5 but you know I never really experimented with that uh, but my batteries here my main solar battery bank here are good really good for that matter disconnect my load meter here load tester See, let me try to clear that up for you guys. There we go. Uh, <coughs> so yeah, guys, uh, I just uh, wanted to show that to you guys. Uh, I do load test my batteries every once in a while, um, just to see the health of them, see how they're doing. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, that's about all. Got any questions? Leave them in the comment section below. Uh, like my Facebook page. There'll be a link in the description of this video. And uh, like me on Facebook and subscribe. Thank you guys. Take care.